welcome to Thai Headlines. I'm Jennifer Chen. Thank you for joining us. Siji's Winter Distribution Reconnaissance Team is in Sichuan. After completing four days of surveys, they are proud to report that though they saw many vulnerable people, they also witnessed strong optimism and family devotion. One man, 74-year-old Luo Yihui, is unable to stand or walk as a normal. Even so, he still enjoys working and cherishes every odd job he can secure. Another exceptionally devoted man is 52-year-old Li Jiajiu who, in order to care for his sick father, has never married. Whenever Li goes to work in his fields, he takes with him a loud alarm clock to mark when he must return to help his father. In Guilong Village in Sichuan's Zhongjiang County, 52-year-old Li Jiajiu is busy feeding his 89-year-old father. Weak with age, the old man went to bed last year and hasn't risen since. For this humble father-son pair, the clock is an important prop. The devotion Li feels towards his parent does not end here. Every night he sleeps at his father's feet so that he may attend him however is needed. In the town of Jiqing, Yinchen village, the 50-year-old Liu Zhongping and his parents lived together. When May's massive earthquake occurred, he picked up his blind mother and rushed out the door. It was an exceedingly terrifying experience, and until now, she remained shocked, trembling, and unable to recognize her own family. Many houses in Jiqing's Liuhe village contain three or four generation families. This house is only partly complete. Yet the family has already moved into one section, by itself bigger than their last home. To conserve money, Zhang Shangping and his wife have been digging their old home's bricks out from the rubble, one by one. He busies himself from morning till night. When he's got a load, he comes back. He's been doing it for more than two months and has saved 30 to 40,000 RMB. After arriving in Sichuan, Siji's first winter period reconnaissance team has seen many instances of superlative filial devotion and many smiles honed by difficulty. The 70-something Chen Ronghua is always ready with a smile. Chen can still plow four or five acres, and the rice, oil, and vegetables in his diet are all homegrown. Chen still brings his cow and chickens indoors each night to protect against theft. But behind his smile, there is worry. His wife suffers poor health. So, facing the inevitable, Chen has saved to prepare a coffin. Oh. The coffin is here, just here. In Jinping village, Luoping town, Luojiang county, 74-year-old Luo Yihui has been listed as a five security social welfare recipient. Though his stride is hobbled to a crab-like gait, Luo is otherwise spry and sharp. No longer able to work, Luo helps out as he can and upon meeting the volunteers, he never stops talking. Revealing the knife he carries, old Law makes a show as he quickly strips and slices a stalk of bamboo into a broom's components. When his thumb bleeds, volunteers pull forth a band-aid. A sticky strip and a little bit of love are nice, but the greatest lesson here is this old man's light-hearted optimism. A model for us all.